I remember when I was when I was really young, I asked my mom one time. I said, Mom, how do we know that we're right? Because, you know, I'd, I read the Bible at night. I laid up thinking about God. My life growing up was very good, I'd say. I enjoyed it. <laughs> my mother was a single mother. I had always grown up in the church. Like, oh, we had a, a church called Pomona Valley Christian Church that we were really, really involved with. The preachers were like second dads to me. My mom was involved in music in the church. All my friends came from my church background. I moved around a lot. I moved around uh, once, about once a year from fourth grade on until the eighth grade. I came home one day from uh, school and this guy that was the janitor from the marina where I lived, he had found a surfboard in the trash can. And he was like, hey man, do you want a surfboard? And I was like, all right, cool, yeah, I'll definitely take it. When I was 19 years old, I was sitting in my house up late talking to a friend and he had just become Muslim. And so I asked him, what is Islam? Like, I've heard all these things. He started to tell me, and it was the most amazing conversation I think still to this day I've ever had. Something inside of me made me feel good, and it was like a light, I felt like. And it was like I was being told the truth. And it was, it was, it's hard to explain, but it was amazing. A result of this relationship we have with God, I kind of went through this whole like five year kind of battle with myself, like, you know, am, am I good enough to be a Muslim? Um, is it the right thing to be doing, you know? I started going to the Islamic Center in Murfreesboro and we were just having a conversation and I was telling him, you know, that I believe this, that I truly believe that Muhammad was the messenger of God. And he was, he told me, he was like, you know, man, I think you've been a Muslim for a really long time and you didn't know it. And I was like, I think so too.